Hey everybody, I'm Henry Gordon Smith, founder and CEO of Agritecture, and I travel all across the world looking for the latest tech and innovations in vertical farming. And today I am here in Florence, Kentucky, inside of one of 80 acres vertical farms' locations. So this is actually a 200,000 square foot in total grow space area, and in this chamber alone, there's over two million plants. But what I'm really excited about is I'm gonna have an exclusive interview now with Tisha Livingston, CEO of Infinite Acres and co-founder of 80 Acres Farms. And we're gonna talk all about what they're doing and also some of the key technologies they're using to optimize consistency and yield. Hey Tisha, how's it going? Hey Henry, uh, it's great. Thank you for coming and seeing me. I mean, it's so exciting to be here inside of one of your vertical farms, I have to say. And today I want to just begin by learning a little about what you do at Infinite Acres and 80 Acres Farms. Yeah, so um, 80 Acres is a um, produce company, so we are growing plants, we're marketing them and selling them into retailers. Infinite Acres is the technology arm of 80 Acres. So we're the ones that are developing the from genetics all the way through to the tech that we're standing in today, construction and uh, everything. Got it, so that's how the two work together. So let's talk a little bit more about 80 Acres Farm specifically. What are some of the crops that you're growing? Yeah, so we're growing crispy leaf, uh, we're growing sorrel, we grow spinach, uh, basil, we're also growing chard. So just a variety of different types of lettuces. We also are growing tomatoes. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. That's really exciting. I feel like that could yeah. be a whole discussion yeah, on its own. I know. <laughs> but you're pushing the boundaries even across some of the typical crops. Yes. And it sounds like you're growing a wide range. And you package them sometimes into mixes too, right? Yes. Yeah, we're always packaging into mixes. So we have blended salads that we're selling into retail. And it's been really fun to just see all the stages of production in this facility and some of the innovations you've been doing across logistics, supply chain, climate management, automation. So it's really a, a really complicated business. But I want to focus in on one type of technology in particular, and that relates to the seeds at the beginning, where it sort of all starts. Yeah. And the technology is from Zindu. Yes. Okay, so they asked me to come here and talk to you a bit about this, and I want to really understand that. But first, let's just talk about partnerships, yes. because one of the things I've always noticed about you when you speak online and in interviews and at events is that you emphasize this point of partnerships, and you're a little, let's say a little bit more open. You talk about the partners by name, you talk about how they work together, the partners often are on stage with you. Tell us about your sort of thesis, your theory of partnerships at 80 Acres Well, you, you know, Henry, when we started this company, Mike and I knew there were some things that we knew and we were good at, and then there's a lot of things. In vertical farming, like you said, it's complicated, mm. that we didn't know. And so rather than investing a bunch of resources and trying to fumble around and figure it out ourselves, we figured out who are the best partners? Who are the right. people that have deep knowledge that are wanting to um, figure out how to, to really push the industry forward? And, um, and we decided to start partnering. And so it requires egoless collaboration, though, I have to tell you, because yeah. that's, that's like my, my catchphrase for everything. You have to be able to find partners that are willing to, to work and provide feedback and, and really be transparent. Um, and what we found is that that success leads to a more integrated holistic ecosystem, which is really driving, driving our business forward. I mean, it's such an important distinction you're making, right? It's not like we're buying tech and integrating it. There's actual a partnership yes. between us. There's a collaboration. So we're going to get into that in a moment. But first, let's sort of start, like, how did it, how did it begin? I mean, I know you're at Green Tech every year. Yeah. That's coming up again soon. Yeah. And that's when I first got exposed to Zindu and got to see their plasma germination tech. Um, but tell us a little about how you find technologies and how you stumbled upon them. Yeah, it, it's exactly like that. We we go to the, to the industry shows. We're constantly looking online. We have people that are looking for new innovation that's gonna solve some of the problems that, that we have. And a lot of that tech is still, you know, relatively new. It might be, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're looking for a partner right. to be able to help them mature the technology, get that feedback so that they can be better and then they can scale. And Zindu, um, you know, was one of those companies. We found it at Green Tech, Alex Hewitt did. Right. And he thought, oh, this is interesting. This is solving a problem. We had, you know, germination rate issues. We had huge bio load on some of the seeds that are coming in. And so we thought, well, how can we find a technology that's going to work with us to be able to help improve our um, germination rates? Yeah, I think that's, uh, I mean, I, I just love the partnership model itself. And I also found them there. So I mean, I'll just give a little bit of background about the germination issue that's really common, right? So when you get seeds, they're not all going to germinate. Sometimes only 80%, 70% will. 
And so when you have a farm like this, being able to increase that by 10% is one of the, the greatest things. And so Zyndu has this plasma technology. We put the seeds in it and it treats them essentially and you can uh, increase germination rates. So have you seen any results on that? I mean, yeah, we have we have seen tremendous results. And so we've seen improved germination in, in our sorrel. We've seen it in our spinach. And so which really has been driving yields. Um, we're also seeing that we can Improve, improve and increase um, the cycle times of our plants as well. So that's helping with yield. So we're seeing different applications um, and different seeds really needing different things. And, and Zyndu has been able to help us figure out all of that and crack the code. Okay, so two main value propositions, increasing germination re rates, yeah. and then the option as well to yep. speed up cycle time. Yes. And those can make a huge difference. We're talking about 2 million plants yes. here behind us. So a 10% increase, a 15% increase, which are some of the numbers that we've seen talking to your growers, yep. speeding up by one day, two days. I mean, that's real money. That's real that's improvement right. that makes a difference. So, so cool that you're able to discover that tech yeah. and leverage it. I want to talk a little bit about the customization because Zyndu actually allows sort of recipes based yes. on the seed and based on the objective. And I think that goes into the partnership thing you mentioned. How do you work together to make sure that you're testing it and that testing is also benefiting them and vice versa. Yeah, exactly. And so that requires a lot of transparency and collaboration because if I can't share with them what my needs are, what my problems are in my farm, and they can't share with me how to how to solve that and maybe what the you know what the capabilities are of their system, then you're not gonna get anywhere right. and you talk past one another. So for us it was all about really talking about the issues that we had with our cultivation in the different varieties and then helping solve what those recipe should look like based on what the issues are. And so how has it been like working with them? Has it been a, a, a good experience? Are they communicative? Do they come here to support yeah, sometimes? No, it's, it, has been a, it has been a great experience. And, and what we see is they're very like-minded. Yeah. They're very open and yeah. wanting to figure out how to be able to drive their product forward and really make an impact. And that really just aligns with us and our goal and mission is really just making an impact. Yeah, it sounds like it's a real values alignment, is. which is a critical part of any partnership. So before we wrap up here, I really want to talk to you about you as a leader. You've built this business with Mike and your colleagues and all your team members. Um, but you know, vertical farming has had some serious challenges that keep happening. So I really want to just get your take a little bit. Like, what do you see the next five, 10 years looking like in vertical farming? What are you excited about? What do you think really needs to change? Yeah, you know, I think that the collaboration model, being open and honest and benchmarking with one another is critical. And we're starting to see that. Yeah. I'm starting to see different vertical farms and us reaching out, sharing numbers, sharing challenges, trying to come up with solutions, working with our equipment partners to be able to really solve problems for vertical farming. We have to build an industry together and you know, keeping everything to ourselves is really not the way that we're gonna solve it. It's not gonna be one company that figures out vertical farming. It has to be an industry. We have to have multiple companies that continue to propagate it in order to really make an impact. I totally agree with you. And I agree we're seeing signals, yeah. sort of veterans from the past farm, yeah. that are more open, uh, experience, and that's really exciting. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely still really excited about the next era of vertical farming as long as we can really learn from these mistakes. Absolutely. And maybe take a little bit from your partnership model Absolutely. and that ideas. So there you are, you heard it here. Amazing time catching up with Tisha Livingston, getting a tour of 80 Acres Farms here in Kentucky. And I really want you to learn more about them. You can check out 80 Acres Farms online and you can learn more about Tisha Livingston on LinkedIn. And of course, I want to invite you, if you're a grower, to learn more about Zyndu online. Now it's spelled Zyndu, Z-A-Y-N-D-U, <laughs> if I got it right. And so, but it's called pronounced Zyndu, and I really want you to check them out and learn more about their plasma technology for the beginning of the farm, the most critical piece at the beginning, those seeds and increasing germination rates. Thanks so much for following Agritecture, and stay tuned for more.